branch of a local bank decides to try two different approaches to manage their lines of customers. During one Friday, the branch uses only one line. As one of the four tellers becomes free, customers move into the open window position. On another Friday, customers choose any of four lines with the teller at each end. A sample of some of the waiting times and minutes is included below for each of the two line strategies. Calculate the standard deviation for each strategy and compare them. Which method would you recommend to the bank? Okay, so we have the raw data here, single line, multiple lines, and then they've given us some summary of data here to help us do the calculations. Um, I've gone ahead and wrote it again so that it would be nice and bold and we could see it on the screen. All right, so let's go ahead and work out the first standard deviation. This would be for the single line scenario. So in the single line scenario, the formula for standard deviation, we'll call it S for sample standard deviation, is going to be the square root of n times the summation of x squared minus the summation of x quantity squared divided by n times n minus 1. All right, so let's plug in the data for this particular calculation. n here for the first group is 10. This guy, the summation of x squared, that's given to us as 513.27. Minus the summation of x quantity squared, the summation of x is 71.5, and we'll square that. And then divide in the bottom uh, by 10 times 9, or of course 90. Okay, so on the bottom we have 90, and on the top we'll end up with 10 times 513.27. Of course, you just have to move the decimal place over for that, right? 71.5 squared. When we subtract those two numbers, we end up with 20.45. All right, now divide by 90. And under the square root, under the radical, we end up with this 227, 222, repeating, basically. I'm going to take the square root there. Without rounding anything, I'm just going to take the square root of the number that's in my calculator, and I end up with the answer of approximately 0 0.477. Okay. Now, of course, this would be in minutes since the data originally was listed in minutes, right? So this would be um, roughly around 0.47 or about half a minute. Okay, so let's do the calculation again. For So this was, remember, this was the single line. And then let's do it for the multiple lines, right? And then from there, we'll make a judgment of which strategy we would recommend. So standard deviation for that guy, the same formula, of course, n times the summation of x squared minus the summation of x quantity squared divided by n times n minus 1. And when we plug in the information for the second group of data, it's going to be 10 times... 541.09 minus 71.5 squared over 10 times 9. Okay, so once again, the bottom is 90, and we'll end up with um, 10 times 541.09, right? Or in other words, uh, just move the decimal place over one place to multiply by 10, and then 71.5 squared subtracted from that number, and we end up with 298.65. All right, divide that by 90, and we end up with the square root of 3.3183 repeating, right? Again, I'm not going to round it all. I'm just going to take the square root at that point. When I do that, I end up with the answer approximately 1.822. Okay, so let's compare these two numbers. Clearly for the multiple lines, we have a bigger value. We get almost two minutes, and here we get about a half a minute. And this is the standard deviation. What this means is that for the single line, we have a more consistent wait time. In fact, if you look at the summation of x for both groups, the summation of x is the same. And what that basically means is that the average is the same. So the average amount of time that people wait at this bank is the same. However, with the single line, you have much less variation than with the multiple lines. 
When you have more variation, it means that the wait times will not be consistent. So here, you know, you can pretty much guess with a single line what your wait time would be. You know, whatever the wait time on average turns out to be, it's not going to deviate too much from that. And so you can kind of uh, plan out your trip to the bank and you can say, well, I'll probably wait. Uh, if the average time is seven minutes, I'll probably wait something around seven minutes. You know, I might um, wait, you know, six minutes and some days I might wait eight minutes, but it's going to be in the ballpark of that waiting time. Where here, you know, you might sometimes wait, you know, more like... Uh, you know, 11 minutes or something as short as three minutes if you get lucky and get on that one line that's moving really quickly. So um, in general, people prefer more consistent results, you know, businesses, customers, etc. They always like to be able to predict the future and plan for things. And so consistency is usually a mark of quality. So in that case, the single line is the preferred approach, I would say. Okay.